Hello, my name is Tom Rom, and welcome to Night Bites, where we look at the little and not so little news for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. It has been a while. Yes, uh, there was actually meant to be a video yesterday, uh, but the video didn't upload correctly, so um, hey, hey, you guys didn't see it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, a bunch of stuff has happened in game. We've had now three crossover weapons. I can't really go into it too much outside because it'd be a bit of a spoiler. But I'm sure you've seen some of Knight's videos. You've seen two of them. And we'll be going over the third one. You can kind of see just here it's cloud. Um, but we'll be going over a bunch of the stuff that have come to the game. There has been a lot of a lot of stuff going on in the background is why you haven't seen a lot of night by videos recently uh to put it really short a um, bunch of health stuff and personal stuff going on for myself and night's been working really hard on his job so videos slow down quite a lot we're going to try and ramp up the videos again it's going to take a bit of time uh, but we're going to get through them but i wanted to go over everything normally i would show it in game because, I'll be perfectly honest, there is a whole bunch of notices here. The problem is, is that there's a lot to go through. So, we're going to say, thanks game. Uh, we're going to have you on in the background. And that's going to be your job. Uh, where I'm going to switch to the Discord. Where we have Ever Crisis News and Data Mine. This is technically data mined content but we'll be skipping over the true data mine stuff and just showing stuff that has been announced in game so where do we begin well we got a cloud banner now this is the third banner of the collaboration for final fantasy 6 and for those who don't recognize where this outfit comes from it's from lock cole the I believe the thief in Final Fantasy VI. I'll be honest, I haven't played the game. Uh, I just know the basics of the characters. But we can see that he has been given... There is some stuff on the right-hand side cut off, but it's really not major. Everything that's important is on screen. Um, but he's been given an outfit. I'm not going to go over everything, because that is for the banner review. Um, but he did get a weapon. It is interesting triple elemental breed uh, elemental breed, triple elemental buff really interesting we got a free step up banner or well, free it I got a step up banner that's got a free first step i'll be honest uh there is a free fourth step and a free sixth step um and it costs that meeting costs in total six thousand gems to do the loop it is only for one loop so yeah, that's something and you can potentially get a couple of copies of the weapon out of it. I know that there's at least one copy of the weapon guaranteed. What else? Um, yeah, if free, we're going to be going over this more and more as we go through. We've got a bunch of extra stuff here. Again, I think we'll go over this more. If we don't, I'll come back to it. Interesting chocobo. And what else? Oh, yes. Kefka part two, electric boogaloo with Kefka's collar. So let's have a look through, and if we miss anything, I will go back and read more of it. We had volume one of the crossover campaign. As of today, we are in crossover part two. This will allow us to get a bunch of extra stuff. Um, I'll actually show this in game in a moment but we can get access to up to 3,000 gems. It looks like it's three days of 1,000 gems a piece. We jump over to the game and we click on missions and camp. Oh, no, it is crossover. Just here, you can see that at three, completing three of these nodes, you'll get two more emotes to use in guild. At six, there's two more. But at nine, you get access to the starry chocobo or star chocobo. 
And look how cool that is. It is a water chocobo and it is a B rank, so that's quite nice. But look at that design. It looks cool. I, I really like it personally. And a lot of people don't really care. It's not really anything special for them. But it's interesting and it's, you know, it's free. How do we get it? Well, you need to complete all these. Collect Chocobo Expedition rewards 20 times. That's going to be done really quickly. That's like done with one of your dailies. Raise Kefka's collar to level 80. Okay, it's going to cost a bit of material. Realistically, not that much. Collect Hyrum rewards 20 times. Uh, look back to what I said about Chocobo. It's going to be done in a day. Consume a thousand stamina. If you're only using the stamina that you need to to do your dailies, that is 300 stamina. So four days done. Log in for five days. Well, by the time that you've completed this, it'll be four days. So yeah, you're going to complete by the time you complete this, you pretty much complete everything here. Complete the premium quest nine times. I'll be perfectly honest, that's going to be the thing that catches most people. Because if you're anything like me, you're too lazy to get in and pay attention to it because you don't really need it to complete your dailies. I would recommend doing it. It is worth doing. Clear solo battle in any event 10 times. Well, okay. If you do it times 9, it's 135 energy. So times 2 is 270. That's going to help with that because 270, 120. Yeah, so I use about 390 energy per day. That's going to do great for me for that so i'm gonna put that in three days um that's not really important but it does mean is hey we're going to complete this potentially over the five days if you do two battles per day it's going to connect with that it's going to complete it done co-op battle 10 times that one's probably gonna to have to do a bit of work but honestly it's not gonna be a real issue just go in and just do the kefka co-op it's worth it clear the one a day Kefka two, three times. Yeah, that should, that should be really easy. Come on. You lot should be able to do this. There isn't really anything special. The real difficulty is sitting on your butt and playing the game for more than five minutes by doing a couple more co-op battles, a couple more premium quests. I know it's going to be tough. I know it's going to be really difficult. I can feel the challenges I can't do it myself, but I know that we can get through it. So I know that you lot can as well. Let's head back to the notes and see what else comes to the game. Uh, there's a login bonus, yeah, and premium quest. Oh, mm, premium quest boost campaign reward 100% increase. Uh, let's just head back to the game. Solar content. Um, enhance premium. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Do your premiums for this week. I don't care if it's only for this week. Get them done. That's going to be very nice. Uh, you've got to abuse this. Abuse it. Abuse it. Abuse it. Like, make the most out of premium because you might as well. 60 extra energy. That means if you're doing your dailies like I do, which is at times nine for solo, times six for co-op and base energy for that, it's 290 plus 120 plus 60, so 290 plus 180. You're looking at 290, 390, 470 energy per day so just under 500 energy you can get a thousand energy done in two days maybe three with a bit of a push if you're really lazy two days if you do a bit of a push let's head back because we need to get through more of the video what else is coming to the game because i'll be honest i haven't read through everything yet one loop only yes i spoke about this really briefly draw for free at steps one four and six uh, in the 10th slot of step 3 and 5, there's a 5 star weapon for, for, uh, guaranteed. In step 7, uh, there is a guaranteed 5 star lock sword in the 10th slot. That's interesting. Uh, no weapons are featured in this draw, so it's equal chances. But that's interesting, that's nice. Uh, critical threats. Yes. We're going to get into this. 
Um, let's jump back into the event again, not into the game again. We had a critical threat re uh, recently finished. That's what this frenzy battle means. But you might notice I have another critical threat here. They've given us another one. Yeah, <laughs> they've not given us time to recover. But if you want to get some free gems, come in, do this. I think it's like 200 something gems. Oh, it's a thousand gems. So, there you go. Uh, number play since the number of people who cleared the crash exceeded 500 players everyone gets a thousand free gems it's not going to take long i mean literally i could do this in the background i'm not going to because i'm too lazy but we'll do that i'll do that next time back to the game again what else have we got so yeah go and do that i recommend it the air free summon stream expansion yes Ifrit, the summon who has been waiting for a second date. We got them at our very time. We romanced them up. We got them to join us on our little journey. And we ignored them for the newer, younger models that were far more powerful. Yes, this one is going to be more powerful and more worth it. Now, because we're going to be able to use it at level 10. Yes, finally. I have been waiting <laughs> so much for this summon to get its expanded stream. It means it's getting noble memories. So, Trials of Ifrit VH3 is how you're going to farm your noble memories. And there are first clear rewards for VH3, EX1, and EX2. However, these are also thresholds to stop you from preventing leveling up your character without completing the fight. You can't get beyond leveling your weapon, or weapon, sorry, uh, leveling up your summon beyond like the higher levels until you complete VH3. You can't get beyond, I believe, level 7 until you complete the X1. Maybe it's even level 6. I think it is level 7. And to get access to level 10 summon, you need to complete Trial for Freaks EX2. This is going to be a lot of work, especially, I'll be honest, I expect it to be difficult. But at the same time, we've been given a lot of ice weapons. I think it's going to be fun to do. It's going to be worth giving it a shot. Especially with the latest banner, because... We now have access to Cloud doing higher ice damage. We also have Aerith, who does a higher ice breach. Uh, if Reed's about to get the shivers, let's hope it's an easy enough fight to beat, but equally let's hope it's a bit of a challenge, because we all do like a bit of challenging content in the game. Critical Threat Elagor. Yes, okay. Let's back to the game. Elagor. Now, some of you may look at that and go, oh, well, I fought this boss recently. Yeah, you did at half anniversary. It was called the Knights of Judgment. It looks a little bit different, but it pretty much is the same fight. It is a uh, fight that's going to smack you. It's going to freeze one of your units, and it uses ice attacks. However... Uh, and it'll probably bring this up in the information if I was to actually bother to sit around and wait. But you can get um, a free weapon for Vincent through this, the Elagor gun. This also means that between probably just in silver rewards, there's probably something like a hundred uh, weapon parts just for Vincent. Let's see if we can find it. There's 25 here. There's another 25 there, so that's 50. And there's another 50 here. So there's 100 weapon, Vincent-specific weapon parts. I would recommend, if you can't get this beyond anything else, get this to level 5. This is going to be really useful. Vincent weapon parts are always worth having. You can see I've got 150 of them. If you get this, this is a free cut. You get this up to even just a 50. It's 100, really, for the most people. If you're like me, you probably are sitting around at least 100 weapon parts. 
that means that you now have a free copy of a weapon. It's worth it. It's gonna be, and don't spend them straight away. Just use them when you need to. And we all tell you this, and it's now me telling you. Listen to the Brit. Only spend these when you need to, not just randomly, unless you're a whale. Then just do whatever you want, because you're spending the money. You can do what you like. If we jump back, it mentions that, hey, we've got stuff going on. This is Alicor. If I scroll down, because this is just a crossover for Cloud, we can ignore this. Um, let's give you a bit of a reveal, because I'm going to draw back the curtains on one of the weapons. Uh, Elagor gun. So this is Vincent's weapon, but you may notice another one called Elagor rifle. This is going to be in the gold victory ticket, victory draws or victory tickets when the crash comes to its second stage, which will be uh, next week, I think. So there you go. There's an extra version that we're getting. That's actually quite interesting. I think that's going to be a nice little boost for Lucia. It's quite nice. I like having Lucia parts. I like having Lucia weapons. I can't actually see what this weapon looks like in the game yet. But that gives you a rough idea of what's coming up. Uh, let's go back to where we were. Elagor. Uh, cloud. Cloud's getting a crossover. Yeah, that's why we're making this video. Lock sword. Looks cool. 1010 potency. Lock's outfit. I'm not going to go into it. This is that's what the next video is for. Princess guards. Yes, we didn't really speak about much about this. Eris had a ultimate weapon for the last three banners, including the one that came out today. And the one that comes out next week as well. It's worth it. If you get a chance to get this, I would recommend it because it is for 30 seconds. Um, HP. Uh, yeah, plus allies, ATB gauge, plus three. Um, restores all allies for 30% of the respective. So one of its passives gives you like region for the first 30 seconds of the flight. It's, it's quite cool. And it's worth doing. And hey, you can convert them into extra things and special versions of items that you can get, which honestly I wouldn't recommend unless you have a bunch of extra macro gems you're not going to need. Crossover campaign two, we got a crossover login bonus. That's going to be for the first three days. So log in each day. You're going to want to. Crossover panel that's going to last to December 4th. Yeah, only till December 4th, which sounds like a long time until you realize that means that Tifa's banner that comes out next week only gets about two weeks. Not a lot. Hmm, let's hope they extend it a little bit just for Tifa. Uh, details as of November 13th. Yeah, it, it came out. Yes, yeah, so I've shown it already. Uh, login bonus. Yep, 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 yep. We've seen this icon. Hey, free gems. Make the most of it. Extra 3,000 gems. Yep. Chocobo. Yep. There's a lottery. Okay, so yes. So if you go into the event, what am I talking about? I can show it. Let's go to the event. Come out of this and click on the clown and go into exchange. Here we go, flashy waist cloth. So this is the new currency, the blue feather ornament. Yes, yes, yes. Bunch of interesting things. Uh, thunder that comes with lightning potency. Uh, lightning potency. What? Interesting. Nothing really special about these materials, perfectly honest. If you don't get them, it's really not a big deal. But I would just because you can. Hundred red specific weapon parts. If you haven't picked the ones from white yet, the white feather. Um, let's go and have a look. I think it's at the bottom because I've probably bought it by now. Um, there was a hundred and shield parts. That's worth doing. But here we go. Lottery boxes. There is a chance that you can pick up a big extra, extra bunch of things. Oh yeah, this is. Um, I've just realised that we're talking about different things. There's lottery boxes currently. Yeah, it's worth doing. But if you log in for the next six days. That's what the game's talking about. I've just realized that I didn't actually pay attention to what was on here. I probably should have read it better. If you log in, you get access to up to a total of 1,500 gems and um, some 
lottery boxes, so that'd be interesting. Yeah, this is a reminder, hey, Prima Quest uh, doubled. Worth doing. Big, yes, big rewards. Less work that you have to do later when you feel lazy. Guild ranking. We all know it's coming. It starts next week. It's simply because it's the last full week of November. Let's get to the thing that's important because no one cares about any of this outside of the results announcements will be on the 27th. The thing that you all care about is here. Tips for conquest because it tells us roughly what the next banner is going to be. In Guild Battle 5, lightning magic attacks are effective. Why is this important? Because Tifa was given a free lightning weapon in Halloween, which is really bad, but it's a lightning free magic lightning weapon. She has another magic lightning weapon, and she has a another magic lightning weapon. Might be physical lightning. I can't remember. She's got another lightning weapon in the form of a collaboration weapon. I think that means that Tifa's new weapon next week, you'll see this, we'll see what happens to next week's video when we discuss this, will be lightning magic damage or some non-elemental damage that buffs lightning magic. That'd be interesting. But yeah, so we have another guild battle next week. It's going to be worth doing. Ifrit EX is coming. Fight him. Be scared of him. Look at that angry face and give him a kiss. There's a bunch of extra missions that give you 70 draw tickets. I don't know what they are. I think we should just jump back to the game and let's have a look because it'd be useful if I knew about these as well. Campaign. Log into the guild. Okay. Attempt trial of a free. Okay, so attempt to smack the Afrit boy. Consume some energy. Consume more energy. Consume even more energy. Do they think we've made a stamina? Collect high winds 50 times and synthesize five material. And this is very simple. You will do this without even attempting. If you play this game and you can even attempt the H3 for a free, you're doing this already. You ain't got to worry about this. Okay, back to what actually is important, going through the rest of these messages, because there's still more stuff to go through. Known issues. When the display language is set to English, well, that's good because the language I speak, uh, the name of Air's exclusive weapon is displayed as floral flare at the bottom instead of floral flare plus plus. Oh, we've lost a double positive. Okay, that sucks. Okay, it's been resolved. That's fine. Glad I didn't even notice it. Uh, but, 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 prize teacher, victory sure critical threat, the display of held weapons may be corrupted. Okay. <laughs> if you see the weapon and... Well, I think if you don't see the weapon, ignore it. It's fine. In the event, dungeon ranking, coral dungeon, ignore that's finished. Crossover cackling, okay, yes. It's very small on the screen, but hey, Kefka's got a part two to his event. Go through and do some stuff. It's got an EX fight. It's going to be worth doing. It gives you a extra access to an extra weapon. Kefka's collar. You get to make Red look even more of a clown as he is. If you want to talk about making Red look like a clown, just say that the next banner is going to have a red outfit again. Or maybe even a Barrett. You get given a clown collar for it, that alone, as it is. 46 points of HP. Thundara Surge, A, eh? So it's probably HP Lightning Magic. So that's interesting. That's nice. It's nothing special, but it'll be a free bit of kit. Yeah, it's actually probably useful for HP in the long term because 46, that's 23 points. So that's just short of a level 4 HP, actually. Maybe we can use that for something interesting later. Hey, reminder, we got extra access to stuff. So some information for weapons, nothing really special. Okay, this is what I use to make my cards that you see in Nightlight's videos. But here's the most important thing. The new weapon for Cloud is three material slots, boost, fire, ice, and lightning. I think that's the first time we've had that. It's kind of cool. 
Skip, skip, skip. Uh, additional stream information. Be scared of it. Scroll down. No, skip. Thousand free gems. Don't skip. Get the gems. You want gems. Gems help us. Elagor. Free weapon. Free weapon parts. You can't see it because it's off screen. But there's weapon parts to this side just here. There's a one a day quest that will be available as well. You should do this. This is worth it. This has basically been everything. You've probably seen a far more sarcastic version of me today, but to be perfectly honest, because it's 3.37 in the morning, and I have zero filter going through this video. I hope you've had a bit of a laugh. You've seen everything that's come into the game, and you've enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think. Um, there will be probably some form of clicking. You can see the timestamps of what's been through this video. Oh boy, I'm going to have to do timestamps for this video. That's going to be fun. Um, enjoy yourselves. Take care. Uh, let us know what you think of the matter and all the content in the game. Let us know what you think about it free. Oh, and last thing. If you haven't gone against Kefka, have fun. He drops his HP, your HP down to one. If you remember Octoslash or we, uh, the Heartless Angel of Sephiroth. Yeah, now it's AoE. Have fun. It's been Tom Rom. Take care. Have a lovely day or an evening or time zone. And see you next time.